Alright, welcome back. In the last video, we uh, explored this equation a little bit more. EP is equal to elevation of point of vertical curvature plus the entering tangent times the distance um, to any point plus AX squared. Um, this is kind of the general equation we'll use to solve problems for with vertical curves. Um, and one of the most important things about vertical curves is finding the highest or lowest point on that curve. And if you remember from many, many videos, um, I said that if you had a vertical curve, right, I'm just drawing a quick vertical curve, that the highest point is not necessarily where the PVI is located. That's very, very important. The highest or lowest point, highest being for crest curves and lowest point being for sag curves, um, would be... Um, or we would find that out using a different equation. Um, so the highest and lowest points uh, correspond to points where the tangent line along a curve is equal to zero. In other words, um, let's just say this, this was a vertical curve, right? The highest point would be where the tangent line is equal to zero or is horizontal. That's what that means. When the slope is zero, that means the tangent line is horizontal. Um, so remember that the slope is equal to zero, that's going to give us the highest point. Or if we had a sad curve, that would give us our lowest point, right? So if we take what we know, slope is equal to zero, and if we apply a little bit of calculus, we can see that um, in order to find the point along a vertical curve that'll give us our highest point or our lowest point x um, x high low that's how I'll denote that point um, that's gonna be where the slope is equal to zero and slope is first derivative right so if we derive this equation uh, just once in respect to x we'll get uh, dy dx is equal to well be 2ax, I'm just rewriting it a bit differently, plus grade 1, right? In order to find the highest or lowest, or the location of the highest and lowest point, x, we need to set the first derivative, or the slope, equal to 0, right? And so if we simply solve for x, high, low, well, g1 to the other side, that would be negative g1, and then we divide that by 2a. There it is. Simple. That is the equation we use to figure out where the highest or lowest point uh, for a crest or sag curve, respectively, is located. And we can use this we can use this point and plug it in to this equation, and we can find the elevation of the lowest or highest point. Right? And we can actually change this equation uh, just a little bit. We know from our previous video that a is equal to g2 minus g1 over 2 times the length of the curve. All right. So if I plug this in in here, well, let's let's do it. I'll do it in red. X high low is equal to negative g1 divided by 2 times uh, a, which is g2 minus g1 over 2l, right? You see that these twos cancel out, and we're left with negative g1 over g2 minus g1. Okay, so here we can apply a little um, algebra magic, and we can uh, take the reciprocal of this and multiply it with negative g1, and that would give us with g1 um, l over g2 minus g1. And if we simplify this, then x high low gives us negative g1 times the length over g2 minus g1. And that's that's just another way uh, we can another equation another form of this equation we can use to find the location of the highest or lowest point. And so basically once we have x, which will give us the highest or lowest point, we plug it into this equation 
and that gives us the elevation of that point, of that highest or lowest point uh, for a crest or sag curve. All right, so we'll take what we know about highest and lowest points and we'll use this equation and in the next several videos we'll do um, vertical curve problems and hopefully all this will make a lot more sense once we start doing examples. All right, so see you then.